Welcome to the Bonfils Performance Studio. In the studio with me today is three of my favorite people, Dave Corbis on guitar, Todd Reed on drums, and our very special guest and leader of the trio today, Mr. Ken Walker. I think that uh, your legacy and your influence on music in Denver has been uh, 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 spectacular. And all of that started in a lot of ways at El Chapultepec yeah. back in the day. What are some of your fondest memories about the, the peck? Yeah. <laughs> well, the There's a lot, I'm sure. The ones you can talk about. Ones you can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> For me, that was, you know, I was there for 12 years. Yeah. And six years of six, six nights a week and six years of seven nights a week. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, just just having that kind of, you know, every night playing and that, for me, that was just helping me become a better musician and better bassist and getting to play with all the guest artists and yeah. getting to meet those people yeah. that I would, at one point I listened to on records. Right, right, and, right. Uh, got, yeah. Getting to play with that was, for me, that's just, you know, that's almost like being in heaven, so. In college, uh -huh. uh, I was, uh, I had a tuba, tuba scholarship. I was with uh, Russell McClellan, and I were first and second. He was first chair, I was second chair. And the judges said, y'all were very close, but we both ended up at the same school, Arkansas Tech University. And uh, I graduated from there. Russell dropped out and went back home. But, uh, uh, and we got a new percussion teacher and he was doing the jazz. And I, I always say I was jazz curious, you know, when they started, you know, because, and because I always like music theory for some reason. You know, and they needed a bass player, and I had played cello in the fourth and fifth grades, so I kind of understood string instruments, so I just started practicing on it and started listening to the music, and the more I listened to the music, the more I really got into it. Describe your style now versus the, the, the let's put it, the evolution of Ken Walker as a bassist. You know today, uh, where you're at, where as opposed to 30 well, years I'm, ago. Well, I, I would say functional to more being freer to, to do, do whatever you, you feel, feel like. like. Yeah. yeah. player originally when you got pretty Vinegar. good that caught your attention? Leroy Vinegar was oh, yeah. the first one because he was most accessible to me. He you could know, walk. Yeah, really? he walk. Yeah. He, yeah, I mean, he was, you know, people hired him not because of his solos, but because it, yeah. his time felt yeah. so good. Accurate. Yeah, and uh, so that's who I started with. I and over the years, yeah. you know, over the years, I, you know, hear different, uh, Paul Chambers, yeah. Ray Brown, yeah. Ron Carter, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rufus Reed. Yeah. I met Todd and Dave, you know, at different times, but over the years, when I would meet people and play with them, I always said, if I ever put a group together, yeah. I, this is somebody I would hire. Right. Yeah, and it's kind of like what musicians do, right? It's like, hey, we got this gig, let's go do it, let's go have some fun. It's like anybody else in a job, right? <laughs> you got something going on, and this is the people I trust, this is what we're doing. Yeah. And it's so, always a good hang yeah. playing with Kenny. Yeah, I was just going to add, what is, your, what, is, what is your favorite memory of Kenny, oh, Mr. Corbis? Yeah, just as a band leader of the Sextet, but we also used to play at the Wash Park Grill yeah. for 16 years. Yeah, that's right. So. <laughs> and that. uh, so just, yeah, it was nice. It was like yeah. we'd play and then we'd have a nice meal afterwards. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. And, um, and we did um, a couple, we did Australia twice. The thing with Ken, for, for a drummer, his time is so big 
and it's just you can't help but just fall in the middle of this great time field yeah. and so it makes what I do so easy and I it's just so much more effort, effortless and that's what I take away from from my times uh, every time I get to play with Ken it's like I know it's gonna feel good and I know I'm gonna be uh, sitting next to somebody who loves what he's doing and exudes a lot of joy.